printing is powerful, flexible, convenient, and inspiring. But if I want to make creative things, I need to practice being creative. This plant PC is a design experiment. It's unrefined and certainly weird, but it's not just a silly novelty. It is a serious attempt at trying new techniques to solve old problems. Speaking of problems, do you ever try to do something slightly different in the software you normally use, only to find out that doing it slightly different is really tricky? <laughs> That's been my month. Making flat patterns on a square or circle? Simple. Making patterns that have to follow the slope, pitch, and path of a part? Tricky. Making ribs that grow in one direction? Simple. Making ribs that change direction and go past part walls? <laughs> Very tricky. There are a dozen more things that had me stumped while building this project, but that was the entire point. I wanted to challenge myself because I needed practice to be creative. And the CAD was the easy part. I've been using a 3D printer that does everything for me, which means I've learned nothing. Creality sent me an Ender 5 S1 with a Sonic Pad, and that motivated me to spend another two weeks obsessing over 3D printing videos, settings, firmware adjustments, and console commands. I learned a ton so I could make use of the huge print area, fast cooling, and ultra-fast speed of the 5S1. With some tuning, I could get normal PLA to print at 250mm a second and still look fantastic. I didn't want to use supports at all for my plant PC, and having a good printer with dialed in settings was pivotal, meaning I could have more freedom in the design. I didn't know bridges this long were even possible, let alone this large of an overhang. The Sonic Pad is basically a tablet that runs Clipper, with handy features like enabling Wi Fi, USB cameras, multiple printer control, and an accelerometer. It makes automatic bed leveling, file management, and print monitoring enjoyable. It wasn't all rose petals, though. I had to spend days bleeding in the thorns. I had trouble setting up the Sonic Pad and had to skip past the initial setup, which was bugged. The printer's build area is at least 5mm smaller in X and Y, something I found out days into my print. Because of time constraints for this video, I had to have my friend Gabriel print this thing on his huge 3D printer, which I'm grateful for. Finally, I couldn't get Creality Silk PLA to print nicely. No matter what I did, either got blobs or divots. Retraction settings, filament settings, e-step, flow rate, even disabling print resume are all things I obsessed over for days. It was so strange that I could print normal PLA just fine and get beautiful results, but the silk PLA I just never could do. It basically just looks like I ended up randomizing seams, which I didn't do. I'm bringing this all up so you guys can tell me what I'm doing wrong so I could print better in the future. The design couldn't be simpler. It uses four 3D printed parts, the top cover, base, IO power supply bracket, and the motherboard bracket. Optionally, a fifth part, the plant pot, goes on top. In the spirit of trying something new, I made the power supply attach via Preston magnets, and it's retained by a single screw. It can't come up because the motherboard tray holds it down, and it has plenty of room for the fan to either work up or down. There's generous space provided for cabling, so you don't have to do nice management. And the lid will support big tower coolers if your plant has shallow enough roots. That's the neat part. If you want to plant with more soil, just use a lower profile cooler, like this IS55 from ID Cooling. It's perfect for my thin mini ITX board because it blows over the RAM, Wi-Fi, and chipset heatsink. Before I wrap this up, I'll address some practical concerns. A friend of mine commented that this would probably get too hot for either the plant or the PC, but after running it for a couple weeks I can say that it's not a concern. The plant acts as a UV shield and insulator when the PC is put in the sun, perfect if your desk is in a window. The PC doesn't vent heat upward either. It cleanly exhausts out the sides with both a top-down and side cooler. Plus, the air isn't anywhere near hot enough to hurt the plant. My main concern would be getting dirt or water in my PC. PLA isn't known for watertight properties, so it could leak, but that's pretty okay because you can just take the top out, water it, and then once the roots have soaked up all the water, just stick it back in the case. Dirt, I admit, I haven't solved aside from using fake plants, but you could always fill it a little bit shallower than this. 
If this was something I was gonna sell, I would do a lot of testing myself. I'd even hire a lab. It's just a design experiment, and you can experiment with it yourself by downloading the files in the description below. I'm not gonna try to convince you that combining plants and small computers is the future of PC modding. I'm not even gonna try to convince myself. I just know that if I don't at least try to think outside the box, I'm just gonna keep making the same box over and over. Yeah, they get more refined, but they also get less interesting. Thank you for watching this, and special thanks to Gabriel for help on this project, to Creality for sending the Ender 5 S1 and Sonic Pad, links to those products are below if you want to learn more, and finally, my patrons on Patreon. I wanted to give up and go to bed so many times during this project, but your support pushed me through. I have special files for this project you can download on Patreon, along with of course many other case project files. More videos are coming soon, so I will see you shortly. Peace. Thank you.